Today we pick up our Bible study in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 13 and 14. There is some controversy from the scholars in the true meaning of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13. But with the preceding passage referring to the gifts of the Spirit given by God, and of the way in which the Apostle Paul is teaching that everyone may have different spiritual gifts, the swaying view is that 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13d, which states in the New King James Version, and have all been made to drink into one spirit, is a reiterating of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13a, in that as we are all baptized into one body, we are all guided or drink by the same Holy Spirit of God. Paul is teaching the congregation of the church at Corinth that they do not receive different Holy Spirits from God, but that God's Holy Spirit is one Holy Spirit that ministers to all in Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 14, Paul reminds the congregation of what he has already taught them, and that as everyone who is a child of God through salvation in Christ Jesus is guided by the same Holy Spirit that is received into one's heart at salvation, we still yet have different gifts and different roles in the God-given gifts that have been received and given or given by God through the working of his Holy Spirit. As the children of God are many individual people, both Jews and Greeks, or Greeks being anyone who is not a Jew, are all part of the same one body of the church in Christ. This is the promise that God's Holy Spirit ministers to everyone who puts their faith in Christ Jesus. God does not have different Holy Spirits, but as he is one in three entities, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, each entity of God has a different role in the Trinity. God's Holy Spirit is the same Holy Spirit that everyone who opens their heart to Jesus receives and is guided by for the rest of their physical lives and into eternity in God's glory. Dear Lord, please help us to realize and understand that as you are the only one true God, your Holy Spirit is not many spirits, but you in spirit living within everyone who opens their heart to Jesus and, accept his, and accepts his death and resurrection as the payment and overcoming of sin for them. Praise be to God in the highest for forgiveness through Christ Jesus and for giving us your Holy Spirit to live within us and be our guide through this physical life and into eternity with you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you'd like to learn more about the Bible and how you can apply its lessons in your life, join us each day as we reach out to share Jesus with the world and help us all find purpose in life. Subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications and don't forget to share YouTube at In Christ Ministries with all your friends and family.